Jamie Liddell, thank you for joining me first of all, here in London Town. We're doing a feature on the strangest places that people have, have played and, um, and, and gigged concerts and stuff. Um, what's the strangest place that you've played so far? Playing the submarine once. <clears throat> that was pretty strange. Was it yellow? It wasn't yellow, no, it was an old Russian submarine. Here in London actually. So. Yeah. But being in a submarine is and being high as we were often known in those days is pretty <laughs> it's pretty insane because you suddenly you're fired for a minute, you know, yeah, I understand well, and then you suddenly think, fucking oh, hell, what if we were on the fucking water, you know, and you get a crazy rush of claustrophobia and like, oh no, oh no, oh no. And then you come into the torpedo room and you're thinking, how do you hurt? People are fucking wearing tornadoes in this thing, it's insane. Fuck, you and me, torpedoes even. So uh, that was very odd. Pretty good though. Just I played in a cave once as Did well. Did you? Mm -hmm. Whereabouts? Australia. Oh, was it? I'm from Australia and we've got, we're from the cave district. Oh, Whereabouts? It was in Perth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but it might have been that game then. How was that? Because I know the acoustics in the caves are often Yeah, awesome. it was amazing. Yeah, I loved it. That was, that was great. People would stop me all the time, give me a tap on the shoulder. It's where Alpha Pamba Ditch. <laughs> With this one. It was kind of like. But, yeah, we're in the middle of a song. I mean, they are. It, did was you, just, it was classic. Did you give the digi go? Because it, um, apparently it's quite yeah. difficult. Girls aren't allowed to play because um, in the Aboriginal customs, um, it makes them infertile, apparently. So oh. us women, not allowed to go near it, but the men can play their digi or their own. I've never had a go on the digi. It's a tricky instrument. If you, I mean, you've kind of just blow now, feature out the water actually, I don't think anyone's going to beat a cave and um, a submarine, but if you could play anywhere, where would it be? Because I know you've got a big oh. tour coming up, but if you could choose any any place, venue, cave in the world. Space, I guess. That's the space, isn't it? How would you stop your mic from floating away then? That's the question. Well, you wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't give a fuck, you'd just be like, yeah, I'm in space, whoa. <laughs> No and one can the show, it's like, fuck it, I'm in space. <laughs> How was last night's gig at Coco? Seven. Seven. At least. It was great. I was really happy because, to be honest, I was nervous. I could, you can you look at all the dates on your tour and like, that's going to be good, that's going to be a bit weird, but good, we'll get through it. That's going to be fun, we can have a laugh, and then Coco is just like, that's big. They're not fucking up. Your lyrics are gloriously positive. Um, life might be sad, but it's always beautiful. Where do you get your positivity from when you know when you're writing? You, are you a naturally upbeat? Positive I have a lot of I have a lot of up in me. Little bit of feel good is out now. What makes you feel good? All sorts. I mean, all sorts. From uh, the glint in the. In the doctor's eye, to uh, the smell of hair, to the smell of coffee. Uh. Um, I ask this of everyone I speak to, what's the most memorable gig or concert you've ever been to as an audience member? Uh, it would have to be Prince, you know. I've always loved Prince. And, yeah, I got to see him two nights in a row many years ago. And I was probably like screaming fair. There was this one YouTube clip, like the Prince is very uh, thorough at removing anything that includes him from from the from the web. And uh, but there's this one clip of him and Michael Jackson. It's James Brown's concert and it's back in the day with James Brown. It's in eighty five. It's just when Thriller came out. Prince and Michael Jackson are like arch enemies, you know. And you see James Brown, the band's just rocking, he goes, yeah, you know, give up. Michael Jackson's in the crowd, you know, Mike, you've got to come up and do something. Call him Mike. And you see a shot of Michael kind of like looking all bashful, like, okay. And he walks up, and his bodyguards ever, he gets on the stage, and he sings a little something, really like innocent thing. He does a little crazy mega spin, like eight spins in a row. Just kind of hold the little pose of the crowd and like, 
and then you see him like whispering to James Brown, and then, and then James Brown comes up to the mic, he's like, well, Mike's just uh, they insisted that we like invite Prince to the stage. Prince, you know, we know you're out there, and you see Prince kind of like after a while, like riding on the back of that big bearded bouncer that he had in the Purple Rain times. He comes on stage with his gloves and like pulls them off with his teeth and throws them out to the audience. He comes straight back and hits him in the face. It's the first thing that happens, and then you see him looking fucking nervous, and then he's just kind of like. Um, grabs a guy's guitar because he's kind of like, you know, I didn't want to like just be seen as the singer guy, you know, he's like a musician, he's there, playing terribly, you know, fucking it up. It's like trying, it's too hard and it's all going wrong. Then he gives it back, as if there's no thing, just kind of look at the guitarist because he gives it to him. Takes his shirt off and starts doing this kind of like horrible screaming in the crowd and it's kind of like, what's going on? And then he kind of leaves the stage and like pulls one of these things, there's this big thing by the side of the stage like this, and the big lamp lights, and he just pulls the whole fucking thing down. And he just, the classic thing is you see, is you see James Brown coming over with Prince's clothes like that. Off you go. <laughs> it's that time. Bloody amateur. You think it's incredible. It's the most depressing footage of Prince you can ever see. It was for a long time, but it's so weird because I was such a Prince fanatic for years. Yeah, there you go. If in doubt, remember that. Thank you so much, Jamie, for the chat, especially when you're tired. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you.